Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Kila Chari Torah's Daily Halacha Review for Thursday, June 9th. We've been speaking about, uh, about uh, Hagba, about the, cu- the custom of lifting up the Sefer Torah uh, after the reading or in the Sephardic world before. Uh, he writes here, many have a custom to point their little finger, that would be this one, at the Sefer Torah during Hagba. Uh, that is mentioned in Me'am Lois and uh, Devarim, in Yisrael Torah, and a number of other collections, Otzer, Tamim, and Hagim. I've also seen people who point with the index finger and people who specifically don't. Some say there's a source for this custom. Lev Chaim is, uh, is the one cited. Others say that there is no source for this. This is just a, a Jewish custom. Uh, therefore, many have a custom n- specifically not to point the finger during Hagba. Uh, says that uh, Rav Belsky, who was the, the advisor who's since passed away since the writing of the Sefer, but was the consultant here uh, on this uh, Sefer, the Decisor, said that was the, such was the custom of Rav Shlomo Zalman Auerbach that we just mentioned the other day, uh, indeed not to point. Uh, so whichever one you do, you're good. Uh, bowing to the Sefer Torah. Many poskim say one should honor the Sefer Torah by bowing, doing a little bow during Hagba, uh, Darche Moshe, one of the commentaries in Halacha says that. Other poskim maintain this is not necessary and that, following that view, seems to be the prevailing custom. How about standing? The Tzibur, the congregation, should indeed stand when the Sefer Torah is lifted from the bima, even if the bima is on an elevated platform, as it frequently is and certainly is in our show. Once the person who performed Hagba sits, the tzibur, the congregation, can also sit. When there are two Sefer Torah that are being read, let's say it's a Shabbos Rosh Chodesh or one of the four special Shabbasas or Shabbos Hanukkah, something like that, uh, the one who's holding the one Sefer Torah, not every shul is so blessed to have uh, custom-built uh, Torah holders like we have, and they would actually have the uh, Hagba of the first, the Magbi of the first Sefer Torah, the person would, sta- would sit on the bench or a chair and hold the Sefer Torah, which frequently happens in a place uh, where there isn't necessarily a purpose-built uh, bima for that. Uh, for that. Uh, so if there's two Sefer Torah being read, whoever's holding the one does, himself does not have to stand when Hagba is done on the other Sefer Torah. There you have it. Okay, we'll uh, continue with uh, some more customs tomorrow. Please join us then. In the meantime, have a nice day.